So this is our microscope introduction lab. First thing is that you always want to carry the microscope with one hand holding that curved arm and one hand under the base of the microscope. So two hands when you carry it back and forth from the counter to the table and so on. Just quickly going over the different parts of the microscope. This first one is the eyepiece. The eyepiece is what contains the ocular lens. It's where you look into the microscope. The coarse knob is the larger knob. When you turn it, it moves that eyepiece up and down so you can kind of zoom in and out of your uh, viewing. The smaller of the two knobs is called the fine knob. It sharpens the image. So you use the coarse knob to focus in on what you're looking for, and then the fine knob makes it just a little bit more clear. The light source is that box that controls the light. And on that light source is what we call a diaphragm. It's a little wheel that turns on the light and makes it brighter or dimmer. So it varies how much light gets through. Our microscope stage is round and it's where the microscope slide sits. The stage clips keep the slide in place when you're viewing. And the objective lenses, we have three. We have a red one, a yellow one, and a blue one. They rotate so you can get closer to the image. The total magnification of what you're viewing is found by multiplying the power of the ocular lens in the eyepiece by the power of the objective lens. So in this case, if the ocular lens is 10 and the objective lens is 4, we would do 10 times 4, which gives us 40 on your worksheet. Our eyepiece is 10. The scanning objective, the red lens, has a magnification of 4. So when you're using the red lens, you see things 40 times their original size. When we use low power, the yellow objective lens is 10 times 10. So we're actually seeing things at 100 times their original size. The high power, the blue objective lens, is 40. So when we multiply those together, we get a total magnification of 400 times the original size. Now this is important because the different uh, powers of magnification allow us to see different things. We can see better details with higher powers of magnification, but we can't see as much of the image. So if you look, the two images on the left, we see most of the bird and its head versus zooming in close on its beak. The left side is a lower uh, power of magnification. We see more of the image. The right side is higher power magnification. We see more detail, but less of the whole thing. So which of these two images at the bottom will be viewed at a higher power magnification? The answer would be the one on the right. It's zoomed in a lot closer, a lot more detail. And our objective lens that we use for high power is blue. Now, I'm gonna show you what our uh, microscope can do using the letter E lab that we did in class. I'm gonna switch views here, and we're gonna take a look at microscope. So if I put a letter E under the microscope, this is what I would see. Much more zoomed in, but you'll notice the E is upside down and backwards. It's completely flipped around, upside down and backwards. Now if I want to get a closer view, because I'm very interested in all of these little cracks in the ink, I would switch to the yellow objective lens low power. And then I have to use my coarse knob to kind of zoom in and focus. And then I use my fine knob to sharpen it so it's not so blurry. Now I see a lot more detail, but I can't see all of the E. The E doesn't fit. It's a little too big. If I want to go even further, see even more detail, I'm going to switch to my 
high power, my blue objective lens. Now see how blurry it is. I can't use the coarse knob here. I can only use the fine knob to sharpen the image. And look at all those little ink splotch. Kind of looks like splatter paint, okay? Because the paper itself isn't as smooth as you think it is. So again, I found my E in the red scanning lens, okay? So I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can kind of see what it looks like to find the E, all right? When I put the E under, I had to zoom in with the course knob until it comes into focus. And then move into the yellow, adjust a bit so it's clear and sharp. And then if I want even more detail, I'll switch right to the blue, use my fine knob only, make it clear.